Hello everyone, my name is Sebastian with that complicated family name. I work at Google and I want to talk to you today about ways to go beyond your limits so you can keep on recreating, reinventing yourself. This presentation is going to be as interactive as possible. I'm going to be asking you quiz questions, so stay awake. But first of all, I'd like to explain why I'm not around with you in person today. Some of you probably know me already and you know that I have clones. Unfortunately, my clones are either on all on holiday or at the repair shop. As for me, the original Sebastian, that's me in the photo. But don't worry, the photo is from five years ago when I was having surgery on my right lung. And that explains why I could not fly to Ladakh today because I realized too late that the altitude in Le is just too high for my lungs not to collapse again. So who am I? I'm someone who breaks things, obviously, in my lungs, as I've mentioned, or my back because I started skateboarding a couple of years ago. Other than that, I've been 15 years at Google and working with exciting developers and startups with my teams in Africa and India. You may be wondering why you're still not seeing my face. I promise I'm not at the hospital. As you can see, I'm all well and alive. Well, except if you think I'm a clone and there's another clone recording this video. I hope you'll take away at least one tip or one insight with my presentation. If anything resonates with you, do share over email and I'll share my email address at the end of this video. That's my way of keeping you awake. But before anything else, I want to thank you. Yes, you, community leaders in India. You have conducted so many events this year that India is the very first geography in the world in terms of activity levels. Uh, well done. I'm really happy and proud of you. Yes, let's give you all a big round of applause. Well done again. <laughs> to celebrate this, I want to play a quiz with you. I'm going to show you photos of the IO extended events that you have held. You will have to guess which city they took place in. You will have some clues, don't worry. Obviously, if you're from that city, you're not allowed to guess. Let the others play, be fair. Are you ready? It's gonna be fast paced, so react very quickly. There's nothing to win except that maybe, maybe I'll consider asking Karthik to feed you for lunch and maybe dinner today. See how nice I am? All right, let's get started. Are you ready? What's the city name where this photo of the IO extended event was taken? Yes. I heard on the right, over there, yes, Ahmedabad. Okay, that one was easy. Oh, you think I'm gonna put them in alphabetical order? You're so mistaken, they're not gonna be in alphabetical order. Let's do another one, shall we? Ready? Which city is this one? Yes, on the left here I heard Cochin. Well done, sir, on the left. Easy one here, yes, New Delhi, well done to the lady at the front of the audience. Okay, that one is a super long one, yes. It's, and I'm sorry if I don't pronounce it correctly, it's Tiruvannan Tapuram. Do I pronounce it correctly? I don't know. All right, and I love to see, just like I see on many photos of events that you've held, the presence of many women. This is really the way to go. Well done. What about this city? Easy one with a Y. Yes, Hyderabad. Well done. Chennai, yes, yes. Next one is a tricky one, careful. Careful. Yes, Chennai again, well done, well done. It was again, Chennai. What about this one? Any, 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 any guesses? Am I, am I hearing? Durgapur. I don't know if I've heard anyone. Anyway, Karthik is in the room and we'll make sure that the person who says Durgapur or responds correctly to my quiz questions will get fed. Next one. Can you guess? Gandhinagar. Kozikode. This one's easy. A few letters. Mumbai, yes. What about this one? Salem. Dehradun, Ranchi, Nagpur. All right, I'll give you a few seconds. Maybe I'm going too quickly. Nashik, yes. Four letters, easy, easy. Pune, yes. Raipur, Jalandar, well done. Easy one, easy one. Bangalore, yes, absolutely. And here's a tricky one to finish. This is not a city name. It's the name of the event. Can you guess? Yes, 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 it's IWD, which stands for International Women's Day. And I wanna thank you again for all these amazing events. Speaking of women, I wanna share with you a short excerpt from a video of a Women Tech Makers ambassador called Divya Krishna. I don't know if you are with us today, but your story is so inspiring. You found volunteers to explain basic computer science, basic technology to underprivileged children 
uh, on the outskirts of Chennai. Let's watch a few moments of the video that you can also find on YouTube. We had this opportunity to come to this village in Ponneri. It's in the outskirts of Chennai. This is a completely new experience and I haven't done anything like this before. And I wanted to interact with kids of various societal standards and also motivate them to go towards their ambition. This is my first time I've actually come out of my comfort zone and I really feel this is very empowering and very happy to see all these faces right here. So shall we do it again? No, no, I'm not talking about my silly quiz of Indian cities. I'm referring to those amazing events you've organized in the initiatives that you've led this year. The best part is that we have Deaf Fest coming up, I'm sure you know, and I'm counting on you to make it the best Deaf Fest ever. But you're going to tell me, Sebastian, how can we make this the best event ever? Well, that's a very good question. Thank you for asking. I don't necessarily have a magic answer, but I'm going to give you four ideas to reflect upon so you can push the limits of what you can do. The first idea is to be thoroughly organized. Do you have a good plan for your community, a clear list of action items? If not, any day is a good day to get started with that. And a simple spreadsheet can do the trick. The second idea is to remain curious, to collect ideas around you, and this summit is a perfect opportunity for you to share ideas among yourselves. Organize those ideas in a document so they don't get lost and share that document. Be completely transparent. And why does it matter to be open-minded about collecting ideas from many different people? Let's do a little experiment. Now, do you see this square? Your task is to make the patterns on the left and the right-hand side of the dark middle line to be symmetrical. Your challenge is to do so by making the fewest possible changes. This is a real experiment, by the way. Have you figured it out? It's obviously not very difficult. Now raise your hand if you've added gray squares on the left-hand side. Raise your hand if you've added gray squares on the left-hand side. Thank you. All right, you can put your hand down. Now raise your hand if you removed gray squares from the right-hand side. R raise your hand if you removed squares gray squares from the right-hand side. Thank you. So as you can see, about 80% of you decided to add and 20% of you decided to remove squares. We add more than we subtract and that causes us to miss out on good options. So you don't have to feel overwhelmed in creating new things all the time. Also look at what's not working to improve them, to make them different. Maybe it's worth not doing the same things over and over again so you can free up time and space to do other better things. I see you like quizzes, so let's do another one to illustrate the value at looking at things from another angle. Who said movies had to be videos only? Now let's adopt a new perspective. Example, one line on this image represents the average color of a frame in a particular film. Can you guess what that film is? Each line is the average colors in a specific frame as the film goes on, all the way from the top to the bottom. Can you guess what film this is? Yes, it's The Matrix, indeed. Now, can you guess the one on the right-hand side, which movie this is from? No, nope. not Frozen, if I heard that in the room. It's Spider-Man. Okay, I know you like more, more, more quiz questions. What about this one on the left? Any guesses? The Martian. And finally on the right? Yes, this one is indeed Frozen. All right, so my key message to you here today is to be curious, learn from others, and share with others. And as I've realized by now, I want you to think outside the box. That was my first big message out of four that I have for you today. And I'm going to tell you a story about monkeys. Actually, it's not a story. It's a real lab experiment. And probably some of you have heard this from me before. There are five monkeys in a room and there's a basket of bananas at the top of a ladder. The monkeys, of course, they want to climb the ladder to get the bananas. But everyone, every time one tries, they get sprayed with cold water. And after a few times of being sprayed with cold water, the monkeys learn not to climb up the ladder. Now, the experimenter then removes one of the monkeys and replaces that monkey with a monkey that has not seen the experiment. And when the monkey goes in the room, he thinks, well, I'm going to grab that banana. But when he, when he tries to go up the ladder, the other four monkeys grab him and pull him back. And the experiment goes on and on until all five monkeys are removed from the room and none of them have ever seen the experiment unfold but they don't do anything. None of them have ever seen or been sprayed by cold water, but they sit still and they don't even try to get the bananas anymore. And the point of the story is for you to challenge assumptions. It's not because things have always been one way that
then we cannot innovate or find new original ways of doing things. For instance, is it better to host online or in-person events, or a mix of both, or across multiple GDGs and cities? That's up to you to think about what can work best. So I think outside the box, but wait a minute, what if there is no box? After all, the limits are in your head. Expand your mind, rules, systems, and boundaries because they were created by people. Being aware of that allows you to contemplate ways to change them. It's not to say limits do not exist. For instance, I told you I have problems with my lungs, but that doesn't mean you cannot find a way around them. For instance, I'm creating this video and I'm trying to make you inspired and maybe laugh a little bit as well. So my message number two here in this presentation, challenge assumptions. Now, here's what's interesting about Nobel Prize winners, especially those in the scientific community. The winners were dramatically more likely to be involved in the arts than less accomplished scientists. And here are the odds for Nobel Prize winners relative to typical scientists. People who are open to new ways of looking at science and business or other areas also tend to be fascinated by the expression of ideas and emotions through images, words, and sounds. So what can you do to keep expanding your limits? You have two possible paths. Number one, either you become the very best of one specific thing, and that's almost impossible. Think becoming an Olympic champion. Or you become very good, let's say the top 30%, the top 25% in a field, at two or more things. And usually capitalism rewards things that are both rare and valuable. And that's the T shape here. You go broad in two areas and you go deep in one area. In my case, you know, you've seen me skateboard, I do some podcasting, I play GeoGuessr, which is a Google Maps based game, and I love to write as well. For you, it could be being super good at machine learning, for instance, going real deep into it and being a community organ organizer on the side and a very good chess player, let's say. The letter T also stands for time. It will take time to become really good. You can't push boundaries if you don't engage in deliberate training. So be patient and kind to yourself. Now, does anyone recognize this painter? It's a painter, He's not alive anymore. It's Picasso. Now, let me tell you a story. Picasso was having lunch in a restaurant one day and he was doodling on a napkin. Now, another customer, a lady at another table saw him doodle and at the end of the lunch, that lady goes to Picasso and say, hey, would you mind you know, giving me your napkin? And with a, with a drawing and Picasso responds, sure, it will cost you $20,000. And the lady's like, shocked, but you only took five minutes to do this drawing. And Picasso responds, no, madam, it took me 40 years. It took me 40 years to practice and be as good as I am today. So here's the, the key point here. It will take time to practice a skill to become very good in different areas. So find your T and don't worry, it will take time. Do you recognize this dude? Yes, of course. This dude is Einstein, of course. And you need to come up with many, many ideas, many bad ideas for good ideas to emerge. Many of Einstein's 248 publications had minimal impact. Only his papers on general and special relativity transform physics. And it's not just Einstein, by the way. Mozart, Beethoven, in every field, the most eminent creators typically produce a large quantity of work that's technically sound, but considered unremarkable by experts and audiences. So there's not really a trade-off between quantity and quality. It's actually both. So try to generate as many ideas as possible and don't worry about refining them to perfection. What would it take for you to become 10 times bigger or better? Use this summit to reflect on this. At Google, we often talk about doing 10x, 10 times more, trying to shoot for the moon in all domains, not just engineering. Thinking big is not only a very powerful recruiting tool, it's also very contagious. People feel inspired and come up with new ideas. So I want to encourage you to do the same. Keep improving, keep prototyping, innovating, think 10x. So I need you. Wait, wait, what's going on? I'm getting hacked. I managed to take control again. All right, so I was, as I was saying, I need you to make the Indian developer community super vibrant. 
There's Deaf Fest, as I mentioned, but there are also many other events and initiatives where you can shine by showing how much the community is thriving, how diverse the community is, with women well represented. We can do better, you can do better. We have limited time on this planet, so trying to find ways to do meaningful and joyful things, to help each other, for instance, to help them discover what they can do with technology. And yes, even creating an intelligent game can entertain or bring a smile on the face of users. And meaning can take various forms, connections with others, a sense of purpose, of belonging, or it can mean to expand your range of skills. Your meaning you will define, your own path you will find. Oh, drat, I sound like Yoda now. Compare yourself, not to others, but to whom you were yesterday. Life is unfair, people will be rewarded just because they flatter those in power. It does not matter. What are your talents? Make a difference around you. Be a good human being. So I shared four things with you today. Number one, be curious, learn from others and share with others. Number two, challenge assumptions. Remember the monkeys and there is no box. Number three, find your T, your areas where you wanna go deep and broad and it will take time, T for time. And number four, Think 10x, how can you scale? How can you innovate? Keep prototyping. And if being without limits still proves too difficult, there is one more option left. Do you wanna know what that option is? It's easy, clone yourself. I mentioned at the beginning of this presentation that I have clones. You just need to snap your fingers. Don't believe me? Here you go, clone yourself. Hopefully this video presentation wasn't too bad. By the way, I'm not a video producer. I'm not a video editor, at least not a professional one. I'm just an engineer. And hopefully I used my various tips and tricks to show you something funny or inspiring. So thank you for listening today. I hope you'll have a wonderful day ahead, a wonderful summit ahead. And thank you again. Danyavat.